wardrobe. Five wardrobe favourites. What would you call it? Five. Uh, five. Maybe like five essential. Five. five top five. I kind of feel like maybe like five. Five favourite wardrobe purchases. Five favourite wardrobe purchases. Yeah. Yeah. That could work. Cool. Okay then. Tom, we're filming, so shut your face. <laughs> no, you weren't being too loud. I was just warning you. Thanks. Oh. I've realised how much of a giant I am on a few days. Yeah. I thought I was quite tall. You're quite tall for a female. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but here I look like a definitely tiny yeah. person. Okay, right. Hey guys, and welcome back, and a massive welcome to a super special guest. This is Jim Chapman. Hello. If you didn't already know, I'm sure you do. I love Jim's channel. Thank you. Um, Jim is just killing it in the fashion game. Stop. Yeah, no, you are. Oh, Such inspiration. Thanks. So I, I really, really wanted to film. In fact, we've been trying to film together for a, a while, while. Yeah. A long time. Because mm -hmm. Jim does fashion, I do fashion. And quite frankly, I really wanted to look in Jim's fashion closet. Because I thought you'd have some amazing things in your wardrobe. Yeah, well, you're going to have to wait and see for my video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we're filming the five favourite wardrobe purchases yes. video. Correct. So pretty much I've just asked Jim, and I've also looked as well, to find our five favourite things we've ever bought. Mm -hmm. Ever. So ever. Yeah. So these are the things that we just couldn't live without now. We love mm -hmm. them so much. Yeah. So Jim's looked through, the, through his wardrobe, I've looked through my wardrobe, and we're going to show you what we love the most. It's really hard to pick five things. Yeah. Because I'm one of those shoppers, when I buy things, I think about longevity, mm -hmm. and how long it's going to be in my wardrobe, and how long I'm going to wear, and what I can wear it with, and how versatile it is. Yeah. So picking only five things was tough. So a lot of them have kind of like sentimental value. Yeah. That's why they're my like, favourites. You have good stories behind yours. Yeah. I'm going to have to try and think what my stories are. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I kind of pulled out ten things earlier and was like, oh, I've got to whittle these down. Yeah. But I think I've done it. Do you want to go first? Sure, okay, yeah. fine. Um, okay. I'm going to start with actually probably the first thing chronologically, <laughs> I think. Um, so here we have a really gorgeous um, double-breasted uh, Burberry top coat. The reason I love this so much is one, it's beautiful um, and it's camel and it's really wearable, um, looks great with jeans or with a suit or whatever. But also, this was, I think I got this like four years ago. It's one of those things that I wear every single year when the weather's right. Tam bought this for me when I proposed to her in New York. Um, a few days later, we were just shopping around and we found this on the sale. It was my first ever item of designer clothing and still wear it to this day. It's, I think it's like a wool cashmere mix. It's gorgeous. Um, and I just feel like a million bucks when I wear it, you know? Yeah. I've seen you in this and honestly yeah. you look so dapper. Yeah, it's one of those things that I think I, I think in one of my first photo shoots, like where I styled it myself for GQ, I wore this. And I will always take this with me because I know it just looks great on and it's one of those things that is classic and timeless and forever stylish. Definitely. So, love it to pieces. That's a brilliant one. Well done, Tandy Burr, for buying me this. Yeah, well done, Tandy. <laughs> What's your first thing? Okay, so seeing as you went for Burberry, mm -hmm. I'm going to go for Burberry too. Yeah. Seeing as what I brought. The Burberry trench, it's so classic, isn't it? This is so tiny. I have like the men's one and it's just like massive in comparison. Oh. But <laughs> I love it. I feel, like Burberry, I feel like trenches are harder to wear for guys though. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, yeah. There's been a few times where I've worn it and it's looked a little bit um, effeminate on me. Because it's kind of, yeah, if it doesn't, if you don't wear it with the right outfit, but um, let's wear it with a suit. Yeah, oh, I always think that guys with a suit on always mm -hmm. look really, yeah, really smart in these kind of things. But for me, I can wear this any time of the year yeah. because it's so light, isn't it? It's lightweight, but then it still does keep you warm. Yeah, and it's showerproof and yeah. all that stuff. All that good stuff, and it's got the belt, so you can pull it in if you want it a little bit more flattering, or yeah. you can wear it open. It's just throw on, cool, casual, but it just looks so timeless and classic. I actually have it in this colour and I have it in blue as well. Oh do you? Mm. I do like the navy. I like the navy, yeah. And I think I again those colours are both really great. You can wear them with a lot of things. Yeah, definitely. Good choice. Yeah, thank you. My next thing is again very sentimental. I own a lot of suits, but this suit is the suit I got married in. Um, oh. And it is uh, bespoke, so it's entirely made to my measurement. And it's the first time all the suits I own, and you'll see I have like an entire wardrobe full of them. I, I often I get given them by a brand and they'll kind of nip it and I'll tuck it, but this one was a really lovely experience for me. I went in about three or four times, they measured me, they kept measuring me, they kept measuring the suit, and they made it entirely to my measurements. So when I got married in it, I felt just amazing. Uh, so it's a three piece, it comes with uh, obviously the blazer, it's got like a double breasted um, waistcoat underneath, and then um, trousers as well. And it's just Really, I mean, one, I got married in it, but two, it's just the, the most beautiful suit that fits like a glove. Um, Wait, what fabric is that? It's kind of like um, uh, like a mohair y type thing. Uh, I went really classic with it. You know, that you when you go bespoke, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But I thought, 
I want it to be one of those suits that I'll be wearing forever, you yeah. know, so I went really classic. I think a navy suit for a guy is one of those things that you just need to have. Definitely. You know? Yeah. Wardrobe staple for any man. Totally. That's gorgeous. That's Thank a you. good one. Thanks. Oh, you've got good stories for yours. <laughs> Seeing as you went out of wearing, I'm going to go for out wearing. Okay. Also. This is nice. <laughs> I'm going to go for the Balmain blazer. Mm hmm just because I've got so much use out of this, yeah. and I feel like everyone needs a good blazer in their yeah. wardrobe. It's also very Batman, isn't it? It's one yeah. of those things we just know when you look at it. Straight away, those structured, structured um, mm -hmm. shoulders, that's the word. That's what they are. Structured shoulders, it just screams Batman straight away. And then the double-breasted finish, it's just, it's just so classic. And it, straight away you know it's Batman. Yeah. It I feel like so it's, well. quite, it's quite tough for a lady to, to wear a blazer well, I think. Yeah. It can be quite boxy and it can be quite masculine, but I think they, that brand does it really well. Yes, no, uh, no agreed, yeah. Especially because it's got obviously much more structure here, but then it really pulls you in at the waist. Mm -hmm. So it gives you all that really flattering figure. But yeah, I mean, I do love blazers, but you're right, they can be hard to wear sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if you find the right fit, you've got to run with it. And this is a perfect fit for me. So I had to mention it, I love this. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Next up for me is this watch. This watch is a fairly recent edition. I got it at the beginning of the year. Well, actually at the very end of last year for my birthday. Uh, Tan bought me this. I'm obsessed with watches. Yeah. Um, and watches can be very expensive. Um, this one is certainly not cheap. And I was looking at a new watch for a long time. I was actually looking at this very watch. And Tan didn't know this. She went out and bought this for me for my birthday. Um, and... On my birthday, she'd been dropping hints about like having kind of a few presents and you know, kind of, oh, are you looking forward to getting your presents and kind of telling me little things and leading me off into like a different direction. And then on my actual birthday, she gave me this and I lost my mind. Because wow. I mean, it's so beautiful. Um, incredible. And I wear it every single day. It's one of those things where I put it on and just like, it's just really special. Special to me personally because time bought it, but also like people stop me and go, this your watch is beautiful. And I yeah. genuinely think it is one of the most stunning watches I've seen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, love this. And um, it's one of those things that gets older with you as well. You know, yeah, oh, absolutely. you can replace the strap if the strap gets a bit um, tarnished or whatever. But for the most part, as long as you keep the watch in good nick and get it looked after, it will be with you forever and I can pass it down to my kids if I'm going to have kids, yeah. if not my dog, whatever. But um, Definitely. I think watches are one of the best investments ever. Yeah. And, I mean, they can be pricey, obviously you work to your budget, but it's mm -hmm. one of those things that um, if you have one that you've worked hard for and it's one that you um, that means something to you, it's, it's you can't beat it. Mm. That's beautiful with like, the white with the rose gold. Yeah, yeah. It's by IWC, which um, is, again, my other watch is IWC. I'm really drawn to this brand. I just yeah. think it's stunning. It's classic. It's looks classic and beautiful. Good one. What's your next thing? Thing number three. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go for a pair of boots. Wow, look at them. Now these are, they're a bit of a, um, they're a little bit unusual. Yes. And they're very unique. But people on my channel probably will recognise these. These are a pair of Dior boots. Mm -hmm. And they were for kind of, I think it might have been spring this year. Right. Or maybe it was fall last year. But they were kind of like a runway boot. And these are just one of the best things I've ever bought. Really? They're really amazing. I just think they're so unusual. Yeah, I mean, are they hard to wear? Because they're... No! They're, well, oh, do you mean because of the colours? Yeah, because there's quite a lot going on. Yeah, there is a lot going on, but I just usually wear them with a pair of jeans and a nice like, white top. Yeah, and right. It just works. It just, like, adds that pizzazz to a mm -hmm. pair of jeans. Nice. You know, and I always get compliments on them. Even, like, yesterday I wore them. And I think about five people on the street just went, Oh my gosh, your shoes. Yeah. And literally random people. And I That's like, nice. I never get that. Yeah. I wore a really loud jacket by Louis Vuitton once when I was in New York working with them. And um, I kept getting stopped on the street and I thought it was because they were viewers. And I was like, yes, I am, Jim Chab. I want a yeah. photo. And then, oh, I love your jacket. Where's that from? Oh. It's really, it's just kind of, it's quite nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. When, yeah, especially when you really take pride in your fashion, when someone notices, it's mm. like, oh, that, that really makes my day. Mm. So yeah, so these, I would have been so gutted if I had missed these, which is why I really am so happy they're in my wardrobe. Good. Yeah. I love them. Do you have like a system where you cycle things out? I have kind of reached capacity, particularly when it comes to shoes. I can't fit any more in my wardrobe, yeah, so yeah. when I get a new pair, I have to give another pair to my brother. Yeah! yeah. Oh, I bet John loves that. Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> try and do that. I had a bit of a clean out recently and yeah. organised them all and there isn't one space free now. Yeah. So next time. There's a charity shop near my near where I live which is just like glorious swimming in all of my oh all my, my things that I, yeah. I can't wear anymore. The Jim Chapman shop. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> My go, my right, my next one is just a, a blue hoodie, which may sound really boring, but it's a cashmere. Uh, I love cashmere. Um, I, if I have the option, I will always wear it. I've got kind of cashmere everything. I've got cashmere socks. Oh, I don't wear them very often. I've got one pair, and I wear them when I'm in the house doing nothing because they're yeah. like super cozy. Yeah. Uh, but it's so soft and it's so sort of uh, tactile. Mm -hmm. uh, this hoodie is kind of particularly special as well because this one is from John Lewis. Now this is part of my 
first edits with John Lewis. So last season, um, I worked with them and basically went into all their menswear and they said, pick stuff that you like and you think other guys will like and we'll call it the Jim Chapman edit, it'll be in store, it'll be online, what do you like? So I went through and styled their menswear basically and then amazing. got to, yeah, it's really an amazing sort of thing for me to do. Yeah. And I think this was one of my favourite items from it, it kind of marked the beginning of it. Yeah. Uh, my next edit is coming out, actually by the time this video goes live it will be, it'll probably be out, uh, it's coming out in a few days. So this is kind of old season now, but I wear it all the time. Kind of heartbroken in that my wife borrowed, I say borrowed in um, <laughs> uh, quotation marks because actually she stole it and then she kind of got some weird gunky mark on it, which oh, I can't get off. Is it um, I don't know what it is. The thing, the thing with my wife is that she can't be trusted. She can't wear white um, because oh, it always comes back brown. Really? Uh, and really when she wears my things it has to be things that I don't mind getting ruined. And oh. I actually I love this and for me it's kind of really special because it marks a big achievement for me, you know? Oh. Um, so yeah, live in this most of the time. Ooh, okay. hello! Okay, so next I've thing. seen you in this. Yes, yes, you. In fact, this I wore this the premiere of John Casper ah. Road when you were chatting with everyone. Yeah. And we had a little interview. Yes. So I wanted to mention it because self-portrait, I think, is a brand that's like totally killing it. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. And for dresses, straight away, if I've got an event or a premiere or something to go to that's special, I go straight to self-portrait because they just have the best selection. Beautiful colours, incredible fabrics. So many intricate details. Yeah, and it's lovely. They're just one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And this was one that, like I said, I got for the premiere. And I've worn it a few times since. And I always get so many compliments on it. I mean, the back is so pretty. Oh, it's, got, it's got my hair in it. <laughs> but the back is so pretty. The way it's all cut out and the lace work. It's just a dress that I'll probably keep for so long. Yeah, lovely. And just keep wearing these amazing events because it's just. Do you have a thing where once you've been seen in something you can't wear it again? Quite often, if it's a very statement dress. Yeah. I mean, and this this kind of, but this was just a dress I love that much, that mm -hmm. there's no way I'm not wearing it again. I think that's what's really great being a guy, because you wear a suit, yeah. you can wear that suit again, because yeah. no one's going to know, you know, yeah. you put a different shirt and tie on, they're like, oh, Jim's wearing a different suit, I'm like, no, it's not, it's just showing one, yeah. but no one really knows, but when you wear something like this, you're kind of like, whoop. Yeah, that box. yeah, especially for premieres and events mm -hmm. when people are taking photos or you're going to put it on your social media, it is hard to wear something again. Yeah. But for everything else and day to day, I'll just keep using it and using it. Even yeah. if I'm not taking photos, I'll still be wearing it in the house or on holiday. You know? Yeah, no, I mean, time has a, a thing about uh, 30 wears. So she wears, she buys something and she's like, I have to wear this at least 30 times. Because I think there's a, there's a kind of an ethos out there at the moment where people buy something once. They yeah. buy something, they'll wear it once and then they'll just not wear it again. And, it, yeah. and I don't think people realise what that does to the world, like yeah, that has to be made by someone, it has to be produced and a lot of people get taken advantage of and I think it's really important to kind of support an attitude where you wear things lots of times. Definitely. So I think even if you want it to an event, you can then kind of bring it out for yeah. different oh, occasions definitely. where maybe there are people taking photos and stuff. You know? Exactly, yeah, I've worn it to like family meals, yeah, totally. family events, and yeah, you can just get the water out of it then. Mm. But yeah, I love this so Good much. Good choice. Uh, my final thing, right? Yes, final piece. My final thing, it's probably a bit boring actually, it's a pair of jeans. Okay. Now, this kind of, um, this is more the style of jeans. So it's quite hard for guys and girls, quite hard to find the right jeans for you, I think, Definitely. right? Because everyone's different shapes and sizes. You look at it on, you know, on the image where you want to go pick them up from. You know, oh, they look great on there, I want to try those ones on. And then you realise that actually your bum's too small, your bum's too big, or you've got big mm. calves. <laughs> I have very skinny legs. Like I've got actually deceptively large thighs but really really small calves. So finding the right fit is really important. So I've got a few brands that I go to and I know the number or the, the name of the fit and I just buy them in every colour. Yeah. So these are by Levi's, they're called 512, 512 and they're sort of their newest Aww. fit where they're a little bit roomier up top. They're still slim but they're a bit roomy and then they kind of have like a real taper down the bottom. So if you've got tiny calves like me. Yeah. So I've got these in three colours and there are uh, brand, I think Lee do a really nice one, I forget what they're called now but they do a really great fit for me too um, and again I don't think you need to spend a fortune on jeans necessarily, no. they're good quality like Levi's what you get them for 80 quid. Oh yeah got it, I mean even Topshop for women, Topshop yeah. especially for me and my size they do the perfect fit, like yeah. I know like you said the exact name of them, I know the exact size that I need and I can literally go in and not even have to try them on, yeah. I know they'll fit. Yeah. I mean, they're you don't yeah. always have to buy a designer. No, totally. And I think when it comes to denim as well, it's one of those things that it's really hard wearing and they'll like this colour will be not this colour forever. It will mm. kind of age as I do, which is quite nice, but then yeah. I can replace, you know. And That's I, the best thing about jeans, I think, in yeah. denim. They do just age and they wear with you. Yeah, so I have probably, I've got loads of pairs of jeans, but probably actually only about three styles. I could yeah. have them in different colours. So yeah, yeah I think um, they're, they're one of my favourite things just because I think it's really important when you feel confident in something and you know you've kind of nailed it and you can get them in a few colours. Like this t-shirt, I have three black, three white, two grey, 
two blue and a green. Really? Because yeah, because I know it fits me. Um, so there you go. <laughs> It's okay. actually a pair of sunnies. Oh, nice. A pair of sunnies. And they're the Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Mm -hmm. Just because I know any day when it's sunny and I'm rushing out and I need a pair of sunnies, these are the one thing that will go with everything. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but they just they suit my face. Mm -hmm. It's quite hard. I mean, I've got a whole collection of sunglasses up there. It's hard to yeah. find sunglasses that um, match your face because yeah. everyone's face is different. And I was really hung up about mine. I've got quite a small head on quite a big body. And I struggled for a long time, but now I kind of know the shape and the style, so, um, you know, I just kind of keep getting them, keep buying them, because I know yeah. they look good now. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and I feel like ray Bab, especially the brand, fit me really well. Yeah. But these especially are just, they go with everything. Mm -hmm. I love them. So these are definitely the thing that I will always take with me on any trip. Anytime I'm going somewhere that I need some sunglasses, I'll have these as like a backup. I'm looking forward to, to sunglassing more. I obviously wear spectacles. My eyesight is appalling. Put them on. Really? Yeah. Awful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, isn't it? I am, I am legally it? blind. Um, so I'm getting laser eye surgery next week. Are you? Yeah, and it'll be really nice to be able to have sunglasses in my pocket and be able to wear them rather than going, oh no, no, I can't see, you know, and squinting. So yeah, I'm really excited to just not have to worry. I mean, I actually quite like these on me. They're lovely glasses, actually. But I want the option. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. want to have to wear, so I might have the lenses removed and just kind of wear them because they look nice. Yeah. But um, yeah, really excited. Oh, congrats. Yeah, thanks. I'll be able to wear sunglasses whenever I want. Yes. Right, okay. So that is our five favourite pieces. Let mm. us know what your favourite pieces are in your wardrobe down below in the comments. Good idea. And also, if you're not subscribed to Jim, please go and subscribe to Thank Jim. You. He's awesome. You will love everything that he does. In fact, I'll put a picture of Jim here. Click that, you'll go straight to Jim's channel. Subscribe, watch our video on Jim's channel too, mm -hmm. and of course, I'll leave a link down below as well to Jim's channel. Thank you. Give this video a thumbs up too. Don't yes, do that. like the video. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you watch our other video on Jim's channel, and we'll see you soon.